Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I smell something good. <laughs> it's no good food. <laughs> no. We're in Anakista at the Switch It Up Huddle. Guys hung out on this side, it looks like. So, They're afraid. They're afraid. Way to go. Yeah, way to go. You were supposed to welcome them. Oh, they'll get welcomed in. Don't worry. Okay. And they wonder how our videos go the way they go. Pretty much, you're watching you're it watching right, right, right in front of your very eyes. Going up, whatever these are, going up the gondola. I think they're called ski lifts. Ski lifts? Is it a ski lift? Yeah, don't look down. Got up at 6 o'clock this morning to go to, what was it, Smoky Mountains Children's Home or yes. something like that. The entire Switch crew volunteered, over 200 people volunteering. So that was pretty quick 600 hours. What did you do? I helped clean homes and put beds together, sweep mop, put furniture back. And I went through and helped pressure wash a bunch of the picnic tables since it's spring. They're going to start using them. Uh, so we pressure washed, clean the whole area. Some people worked in the warehouse and put bikes together. Yep, put bikes together, helped uh, organize the warehouse. Um, I'm sure Todd's going to show a lot of that stuff on yeah. his channel. That's quite a ways. My legs are starting to ache. <laughs> hey, hey! Hey! See the bar? <laughs> Right there. Is there another one that way? The very top of the tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a little cub. So sweet. So, where's Mama? Hiding, waiting for someone to do something stupid. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Fire up. All right. <laughs> Three months. Quickly on outside that side that next year. Three, two, one. Go for it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. He's going to get you, going to get you, going to get you. Awesome. Awesome. One, two, three. Got to get a drink now, right? Yeah. What are you looking at? Oh, what, what are you, you what are you record? Give me this. <laughs> Does he even know what he's doing with this camera? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, where were we? <laughs> we're starting to get spit on. Yeah. Oh, we are talking about getting a drink and he showed up. Really good. Part part cherry. I think that's part 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 cherry beer. Soaking wet. Everyone else has gone home, and we're going through the treetop skywalk. I guess we're used to the Washington rain, so we're used to being wet. Used to being wet. Okay, here we go. Whoops. Like it moves. <laughs> kind of bouncy. Here's another one. At least it's got that uh, the gripper stuff, so I don't fall on my butt. But at least I hope I don't fall on my it butt. There's no running, so. Well, it wasn't no running. running, no jumping. Just warning in there. To get my foot on the non uh, slippery stuff. Did you see the zip liners go? <laughs> We're getting close.
your mama. Yeah. I found mama. Hi. No, you're good. There's black bear down here. Crossing the road. It's very wet. Soaking wet. Soaking. We're gonna give it a try anyways. Good thing we have dry clothes at home. <laughs> I wanted to have the bear. You blend in with a black jacket. Do I? I could do this when I was in gymnastics as a young child. Although this is a wider than a balance beam. Oh, that one's on a chain. So far from where you know what though, this is nice. From. <laughs> He made it. He made it. He's fine. He's fine. I just want you to know he's fine. He may be a little wet, but he's okay. Larry, hurry up. We need that pot of gold. We need to get down there because it's rising. I think that house already got it. Whoever lives there. <laughs> well, I think we could outnumber them. <laughs> so, do you know how everyone just kind of rushed out here all at once? That's because they want the pot of gold inside the house down there. No, Todd turned around, saw the rainbow, and said, Oh my God, get the rainbow, get the rainbow. Get the rainbow. <laughs> Dude, I didn't hear it. <laughs> He's like, go get the Pokemon, get out there now, get the rainbow. <laughs> God, you started with rainbow. I know. It happens a lot. We see rainbows every day. I know. I know. And the rainbow's gone by the time the they rainbow. get out there. <laughs> awesome coloring. The lighting is. Well, it is pretty cool to be up in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone that likes Christmas lights would love to walk through that. Normally on these huddles, they do two hikes, a Todd hike and a Sheila hike. The Todd hikes are short, the she <laughs> Sheila hikes are long. Todd hikes are easy. Yeah, Todd hikes are easy. This area reminds me a lot of home. 
It's beautiful out here. All the hills, greenery. It's not like being in the desert. How far do you think we're in? I don't know, I saw a five on that post, so maybe the half mile mark. That might be. It's not a five mile walk. Todd wouldn't do it. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know where the group went. They're like way ahead of us. They walk faster. Yeah, they walk faster. I think Sheila's behind us, making sure that uh, nobody gets left left out, left off. Left behind. Left behind. That's the word I'm looking for. You know, that's one of the things with these huddles, though. That's for somebody to kind of do these trails with, share the moment with. Yeah. Even if they are way ahead of us. <laughs> well, I'll meet at the waterfall. Yeah, we'll meet at the end. And then we have, I think they're doing a worship service when we get back and then dinner. It's our last meal to get there. Yeah. Unless you want to include the donuts and coffee in the morning. Yeah, they do donuts and coffee. Uh, it's not like Bash where they call them get the fuck out donuts. <laughs> they're just goodbye donuts. You got to jump. Jump It's not a jump. I can't jump, I'll break myself. <laughs> Forget we're getting older. Well, some of us are getting older. You'll be old in a couple more weeks. Shush. We don't talk about that kind of stuff. We can't even remember how we don't talk about Fight Club. Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> This trail is not wide enough for the two of us. I'm sorry. I gotta go way down here. If you start falling, just tuck and roll. <laughs> you and your tuck and roll. <laughs> I really hope we're towards the end. This has been all uphill. It's good for us, right? If you say so. <laughs> Don't look down. Oh, I can see down. It's a long drop. Right here on the cliff side. Oh, I hear them. We're almost there. We're almost there? Must be. We can start hearing crowds. Oh, this is neat. There's the falls right there. Yeah, there's the falls. The tiny little thing. Mm -hmm. Saw the water running under the foliage, hitting the rocks and coming there. Sheila and Megan passed us. I guess we're gonna pick it up. Just a notch. Pick up the pace. Turn trip. Mostly downhill. That's the thing about hiking. Once you get to where you're going, you're only halfway done. Way back, easy though. That? The way back, the, the way back is easy. Yeah. Mostly downhill. Tuck and roll. Yes.
what is going on. Position number two. It was position number two, Ty. Oh, she's got it. Sounds like a tattoo parlor. <laughs> Ty, how much did you pay for your spray tan? $39. So $39. So you think $99 and $50 a month is $150 for $39. If you do only four spray tans a month, the first month, you're already coming out ahead and you pay for your equipment. What color is it? What color? It's tan. Just like you can't. Well, I had it. different bronze. Like you had a bronze tan. You had a. You had. You could choose. You didn't tell us that. <laughs> no, I How are we supposed to know? I chose You're the that. expert. I hope this is Jeez, the right color. I had to put a primer on. Yeah. All right. This better be a good payoff. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah, put a shower cap on. You didn't tell mom to put a shower cap on, Todd. This bit's going a long time. It better be a good payoff. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Come on out and show us, honey. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, my. Ty's already agreed to buy them from us directly, so you can just give, get hold of Ty and Sheila to purchase your subscription because we've already got our money from them. <laughs> Thank you guys. Strawberry mango margarita. Just take a couple, and then she's got different flavors on the other side. Uh, this one is chocolate, and then you have blue flame, which is 128 proof, so it's a chocolate. No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That one's what, 128 proof? 128, yeah. You, you can try that one. <laughs> and this one is strawberry. Orange cream. Orange cream sickle moonshine? Yeah. Here we go. Tastes like an orange cream sickle. This is not a damn water, this is coffee. Smells good. That's what I meant, chocolate. It's pretty good. Orange. 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 Oh, that's an orange sickle. And then 128 group. <laughs> that's 128 group. I'm adding some bonus footage at the end of this video. It was taken during the Q&A session, Todd and Sheila at the huddle. It gives you a little bit of insight on who they are and how they are away from the camera. They're like this all the time. They're genuinely good people. So far, after full-timing for a year, Tennessee has been our favorite place to go. The Switch It Up huddles has been our favorite events. We'll also be at the upcoming Michigan and Georgia huddles. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to meet Todd and Sheila, ourselves, or any of the other Switch crew. Join us at the huddles. Otherwise, we'll see you somewhere down the road. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing. That way you'll get notifications when we put a new video out. And while you're at it, go over to the Switch It Up channel and subscribe to them as well, if you're not already a subscriber. We're gonna start getting serious now. This one says, what age group are you in? <laughs> Mentally? <laughs> I was in planning meetings for how many campuses and how many other church plants we were going to make put across the United States. And you were building buildings. Yeah, playing PlayStation. <laughs> Things happen and, and life changes. And so I can tell you what we're thinking, but my pastor, my boss, he really encouraged and taught me how to live my life open-handed. So if we say this is our plan, I can't hold that tightly. And I can say, here's our, here's our dreams and our goals and our visions and where we want to go. But if the Lord says, Oop, no, you're going to go do this instead, I have to be okay with that. But here we are. And we're in our building community. And I thought we were headed home in a year. And then I called my boss and told him, sorry, I'm not coming back to lead that project of building a new building. And that's because you guys stepped in. I have a, this journey is continuing, where we want to go 
is actually all very much dictated by y'all in true transparency. You don't get control over the videos, though. I do whatever I want. <laughs> they already knew that. They knew that. We need to have boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years from now, if we, if we could stay on this journey and we continue the, the switch it up journey, ten years from now, what could that look like across the United States? Why, why are we even limited to the United States? Why can't we build community in other in other locations? We could have we could have gosh little parks across the United States where we could meet up and it's like an alliance of these are our favorite places across the country. We could have like who knows? But I still still see us as a community growing. But there's a group of people that are the reason why we get to keep doing what we're doing. And if your name tag has a little white tag on it that says SCFC on it, would you please stand up? The vision and the mission of what we're about and where we're going is only because of you guys. We're still here. We were headed home. So when you see us and people are asking us, What's next? This is the Founders Club, and they are financially supporting this vision and this mission for us to keep going. And we thank you so much because nothing of what we're doing is possible without all of you together. So I would love for you all to give them a round of applause.